All right, so welcome back to Hollow Knight, everybody. We're back in the resting grounds, because we apparently ended up here somehow. I actually forget how we got here. We took a shortcut for somewhere. We went to the spider's nest last time, which was kind of creepy, and there was no map. So that was fun. So we're back here. Oh, yeah, that's right. We made it our way up for the City of Tears. Okay. Yeah, I forgot about that. Ooh! Congrats, Proxima! That's awesome! Hollow Knight speedrun got verified. That's really exciting. Sorry I missed you. If you're feeling lost, why not pop up to the store in Dirtmouth? Well, I already have it. Soup and crackers definitely helps when you're sick. I find when I'm sick, I j that's when I generally eat toast. I don't really eat toast a whole lot outside of being sick. So I think I made my way for the sewers last time. Actually, before I choose. That's right, we made our way up from Keen Station. Hmm, alright, so... We have one seal left to get. I'm not sure how close we are to the end of the game, but I have to wager we're not super far away, right? Oh, that's right, we went to Queen's Gardens. We have not gone up through that way yet. But there's not really a subway station nearby. Hmm... How come the spider's nest isn't on the map? Also, apparently it does not let me zoom out. That was weird. I kind of want to explore that area some more. Yeah, I didn't find Cornifer in the deep nest because I needed Cornifer in order to find Cornifer. Because that area is a giant maze. Oof. Yeah, that's not good. Gagging is never fun. Oh, Queen's Gardens, alright. I also did not find the subway station in the Deep Nest, if there is such a thing. So that's where Cornifer was. Alright. I am glad that I have my map with me. I'm sure the map is one of those things where, like, if if you play it again, if you, if if this is a game you've played a lot, you're like, I don't need no stinking map. I know exactly where I am. But that does not describe me. So, here we are. Ouch. Oh, we should also see if we can upgrade our nail soon. I think we can upgrade it again, but I can't remember if we have the materials needed for it. That is a place that we haven't been to in a while. Oh yeah, we got 5,000 Geo. And nothing really to spend it on. That's right, we gotta be careful. Because we just, we robbed the old lady last time, and that was like, basically the last thing that we did. I hope so too, Simpsons are us. It's never fun being sick. That's right, this is ugh. It's the pus infected bushes. Never f ugh. Let's not have to deal with the pus, shall we? Why is there no music in this area? 
I thought there was music in this area. Oh, there we go. Okay, that that was my fault. <laughs> I just jumped straight into that one. Alright, to go to the deep nest, we gotta go a little farther down. Here we go. Uh oh, no. My butt. Wait, what? No, why did that platform fall again? I didn't land on it. Was it the geo landing on it that caused it to fall? Ooh. Ouch. Okay, this is not good. No, oh, that's bad. There was my 5,000 Geo. And I am far away from that, aren't I? Yeah, that's a bit of a trick. Great. <laughs> I forgot about those stupid boomerang guys. Oh, bother. I'm out of practice. nice. But I, I really don't want to lose my shadow and my $5,000. You never know if you're gonna need it. What if I want to invest in crypto? Diversify my portfolio and all that. Or what if I want to buy the entire store supply of jelly beans? Sometimes you have those days, man, where you're just like, I want 8,000 jelly beans, and you gotta have them. <laughs> hey, Nintendo Addict, welcome. Well, it depends. You don't want to invest in Dogecoin. Or maybe you do. <laughs> maybe it'll work out for you. I'm still not sold on crypto, though. Because I feel like even even if it could become big, like if the power goes out in the area, like you can't buy anything. That's why I feel like things like gold are never gonna go out of style. My favorite kind of soup, I have a delicious taco soup recipe that I love making. It's fantastic. I hate these falling platforms. <laughs> My bottom. Okay. Ow! <laughs> okay. Take some time to refill on HP. Let's just take it slow. If there's one thing I've learned over these years, it's it's my impatience is what make, messes me up the most. Ouch. 
Yeah, give me my $5,000 back. Well, well, we'll see where we'll see what happens with the crypto vein in the future. It's it's intriguing to me. Get out of here. All right, so that's the way to deep nest, right? Yeah, that's the way to deep nest. Now I'm gonna sit on the bench first. Ah, all right. Go to deep, go to deep nest, find cornifer, and hopefully find a subway station, maybe. Oh, man. So this area is this dark even with the lantern. Ow! My hiney! Imagine how dark this area would be if you did not have a lantern. Like, would you even have the generic light around your character? Oh, come on, that's just not fair. Okay, now we've entered the area where we got no map. Lovely. Put a smile on, put a smile on, give me all your money and put a smile on. Why can't... Oh, that's right, you're the guy who wouldn't sell me anything. I have five thousand dollars. Money is no object. Oh, that was for spikes. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Let's keep our HP high. Problem is, without a map, I can't remember where I've been and where I haven't. I'm pretty sure this area is just a drop shaft, but... Well, we're going to be making some more money today. Oh, I come from a land down under. I actually have no need for the, the will recharge. Hmm, Tie 2 dx vision, welcome, yeah. It's, it's spider time. I'm trying to find the map. I don't think I went to the left anywhere over here. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, I definitely have not been over this way before. Okay, well that's just mean. Why would you do that? They respawn me in a weird place. Oh wow, you just aimed that perfectly, didn't you? This game recorded you playing the violin. That's funny! I thought it recorded me playing the violin. Cornifer! Ooh, stag station. Distant village. Interesting. Wait, I want to go up towards the stag station, though. Oh wait, I have been here? 
I'm very confused. All right, well, let's at least get to the stag station. Wait. Oh my gosh, I had opened up a stag station here already. How did I forget about that? You all were just sitting here, like, eating your popcorn. Like, oh, I already did, forgot that he can quick warp here. Now I just gotta find out where old map maker is. Uh, that was a long way to fall. You also arrived a little bit later than some of the other people, so... Like... <laughs> yeah, like, once again, I need Cornifer to find Cornifer. It's like... The, the advantage of getting Cornifer is that you can navigate your way around this new area that you haven't been to before, but they hide him in, like, the deepest part of the area, so that by the time you find him, you've already found everything. It's like, why would you do that? It's like putting the shop that sells extra lives at the end of the game. Okay... Let's not bother him if we can help it. All right, that's fun. If it's something I already know about and I just forgot, then absolutely you can remind me of that. Okay, you let's get out of here. Actually, I don't think we can. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, shortcut. Or new area. That's also cool. Uh, you know how you, you've done the major thing in each area? Cornifer leaves one of those, sorry, I missed those cards. Uh, I thought those were just randomly scattered around. I didn't think there was a trigger that led you to finding those. We need the, we need the spot theme song to play here, to calm people's nerves. Oh, we're oh we're back here again. Well, how is that guy such a good marksman? Ow! My bottom. This world oh, you've gotta be kidding me. It respawned me back here? The respawns don't seem to be very consistent, I must say. The cards are at his location in each area. They show when he's left the area and you can buy that map from Azalea and Dirtmouth. I literally never knew that because every single time I've seen one of those cards, I've gone back to Dirtmouth and she's like, oh, I can't find anything here. And the only thing she was selling me were worthless pins. Well, Alright, guess we're going back to Dermouth then. This world is just fill it's literally like, let's put let's put something that will hurt you at the bottom of every single fall. How Well, I have to go back to Deep Nest because all my money's down there. And I don't exactly want to abandon my $5,000. It's a lot of money. I robbed an old lady. No, I did not rob an old lady. I got my money back from an old lady. She was the robber. Uh, I 
hate all these spike pits. Last time I saw as many spike pits, I was playing Mega Man. ROM hacks. Gotta love the ROM hacks of, like, really tough games where they're like, you know, the first game just was way too easy. Let's put in more, let's make it even harder. It's like, how? By, like, putting in more legitimately tough bosses? No, we're just gonna spam instant death everywhere. By the way, hi, Mobius. Welcome. Whoop, 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 whoop. Alright, I lost my guy this way. Some people like that, and, uh, yeah, it's weird. If something's crazy difficult, but, like, it's a legitimate difficult, like Cuphead, I love it. But if it's, like, herpa derpa -skirp, we threw in cheap uh, things that kill you everywhere. Have fun. It's like, thanks, I will not. There you are. I, I don't know, because I don't personally know Chuck Conroy. Alright, let's head back to Dirtmouth and see. <laughs> I mean, it, I guess it's not a ROM hack, it's a fan game, but Mega Man Rock Force, in my opinion, is more fun than any... Any actual, like, official Mega Man game. That game is freaking amazing. That's also acceptable. Although I am a rare individual where I actually adore Quick Man stage. It might be my fa favorite Mega Man stage. Okay, I think we can also buy, like, a Mask Shard from this guy. You seem a little different. Something has changed in your bearing. Ah, the way you hold your nail. So you've learned a nail art. Very interesting. I wonder, do you have the passion to continue your training? Papa Sude. Oh, I've cleaned out his stock. Never mind. Oh yeah. Flashman is amazing. I, I love pretty much all of the Mega Man 2 Robot Masters, but then you get to the Fortress stages and they're just not as fun. After more supplies, you've already bought some... Yes, yeah, see? You've cleaned us out of anything worth selling. So I can't buy the map from there. Can't read her diary anymore. Well, at least we got a checkpoint. This might be a stream where we just end up doing nothing. Fast Man. I still cannot believe that after 11 official Mega Man games, and actually more than that, they still have not made Water Man. Eh, oh, don't worry about it, Proxima. I also thought that I had already seen the, uh... What do you gonna call it? They're like, oh, you missed me. They did make Aquaman. Don't know how they survived that copyright infringement. Oh, that's right. This is the massive house. That's, like, way bigger on the inside. No, I don't mean a handsome guy. I mean Aquaman. He ain't handsome. His voice is weird, too. Actually, every character in Mega Man 8 had a weird voice. But special shout out to Astro Man, who sounds like he talks through like a washing machine. I'm Astro Man. Yeah. 
I could have named the stream that, but I didn't know that this is what we were going to be doing all stream. I actually kind of forgot where we were after last week. Sorry, it's been... It's been... A couple of few days. Well, that's fine. There's still more of the deep nest we haven't explored yet. Oh, well, yeah. This is definitely more entertaining than a single boss fight for the entire stream. I agree. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's true. It has been a week since I looked at you. Ow! You know what? I... But it's still not as difficult as some games. Oh! There is a game I have been toying with the idea of trying to stream and beat that I've never beaten before. I won't tell you what it is. All I'll say is that it's a game for the PlayStation 1. And I don't know how people have managed to beat it. Uh oh, I'm going too far away. Could it be Bubsy? I mean, it could be Bubsy. It's not Bubsy, but it could have been. Hello Kitty Racing. <laughs> Is that a faint? No, the game I'm thinking of involves a character that may or may not have all of his limbs. Wink, wink. Oh, look, bottomless pits. Ouch. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Hello Kitty Roller Rescue for the GameCube is actually, like, a legitimately, like, good game. My sister would flip if I actually ended up playing that on stream! Uh-oh. That's not good. No! My bottom! I have heard things about Bubsy. Oh, I didn't even sit on the bench? Oh, oh that's right, because there is no bench next to the train station. I, I like watching out for the pointy bits, but it doesn't always work. Ooh! That sounds fun. <laughs> I wish you luck finding good Hello Kitty merchandise. I'm sure you will. There are two places where I'm sure it will be very easy to find Hello Kitty merchandise. NYC and Japan. As well as the internet. Also, is it true that, like, Hello Kitty's apparently not actually a cat, but, like, a girl that looks like a cat? Because that's weird. It's like, I'm sorry, your name is Kitty, and you, you have a head shaped like a cat, and you're not a cat? It'd be like if Artie was not an ink blot. If that's true, your childhood is ruined. I hope I'm wrong about this, but I want to say, like, the maker of Hello Kitty released this statement. was like, no, no, Hello Kitty's not, like, actually a cat. Fact check me on that one, though. Do, do. 
There you are. Ouch! You wanna play? Get over here. Artie's not real, folks. Did, don't you remember the, the lore I revealed in Episode 2? Okay, I don't like this guy. Uh-oh. Oh, hey! He killed himself! How fun. No, I don't have to do it for him. Oh boy, Geo. Yay! It's not like I have anything to buy anymore. Just a social construct, oh brother. Not that nonsense. <laughs> Wonderful. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Whoa. Oh, you got some impressive impressive wingspan. Very good. Woo! Those big guys are definitely tough. Oh, I had already been over here. Where is the um There's still more of those the essence to pick up somewhere. Okay, I went too far. We're not seeing a glowing background anymore. Do 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 do. Ouch. Okay, maybe. No. Oh, I I did get all the essence. Oh. I didn't know there was a sound effect for that. It's okay, we just dreamed that we went to the creepy spider area. The worst part is I can't even use the bank again, because now I know the old lady's just gonna steal my money again. Granddad. Oh no. Ride like the wind, bullseye. I still gotta go back and get all of my stuff. Wonderful. Beep, beep. How come I just heard the essence sound again? What? Why did I get essence from that? I'm very confused. Hmm. The slashy guys seem like the only tough part, and then they seem easier once you notice that it... I mean, if you can pogo on their head, they're not too bad, but if you face them in combined uh, core... In confined quarters, they can be tougher. Okay, get out of here. Well, sure enough, it's big tree now. Nest alive. Sweepy, sleeping queen, not sweeping queen, beast. Get out! Well, if there's a beast around, we know Zaldin can't be far behind. Alright. 
Ah, creepy music box time. My shadow must be near. Oh, I hate how they knock you into the spikes. It was all an illusion. Okay, my shadow is higher up in that room. There you are. You've got to be kidding me. Way to spawn me on top of the enemy who's about to kill me. Thank you. Really appreciate that. It's like, oh, you can't see down, but if you fall down, you're going to hit spikes. It's just a fact of life. Let's go this way. That worked! <laughs> he didn't even know what hit him. Literally. I have no idea if I've been this way before or not. Seems to be a new area. I don't recall this. Question is, do I go farther down or do I start going up? Hmm. We are in the deep nest, so let's go deep. Oh, hey! Hot springs! And a bench! And maybe a map? Definitely looks like there's a sign pointing me this way. Oh! Hello! This is reminding me of a- ow! Okay, that was a dead end, apparently. Oh, I see. This is reminding me of a level in Sonic Riders, where you have to ride centipedes up to the top. Oh, I- I- Ow. That. Ah, don't worry, they're centipedes. They're just minding their own business. Ow! My chest! Imagine how hard this would be without the double jump. I 
I'm pretty sure this area would technically be possible without it, but oof, it would not be fun. My will is unstoppable. You'd be upset if I got that first try, really? <laughs> Wasn't that difficult. Is that a mask shard? Ooh, no, it's even better. It's a will vessel shard. That wasn't too hard. That's like something that you would do uh, commonplace on Shovel Knight. Hey, Galadivor, welcome! Ouch. Stupid centipedes. Yeah, Shovel Knight's very fun. Definitely would recommend. Dug on it. I can't tell where I've been! Why can I not even make my own map? Oh wait, that was a new area, wasn't it? I came from the left, I believe. Yeah, Shovel Knight, highly recommend. Oh boy. Shadow pipe that I can't destroy. Not until I get the Master Sword. Is that all that was available for me down here? Really? Oh no, haha. -ha. The corpse of Garpede. My ex-wife does not approve. Is that it? Is there some big lore reveal behind that? The darkness! I think that was the only area in the centipede world. Wait. What is that sign indicating? That's just so you can get the Garpede in your journal since you can't kill them. Oh, I see. What is that sign saying? The tram? Oh. I mean, I guess... I guess the centipedes are kind of trams. I just want to double check to make sure I didn't forget anything. The bug's getting on top of other bugs to move around. Okay, And then we have another sign. What the heck is this? Door of an open slot. Cool, I can't do anything with that, though. Yeah, I've seen these before, but I can't do anything with them. Unless, of course... Super Rover! Nope. It's not even going to give me the opportunity to spend my money for this? Really? I've got money. If you need money to open up the tram, I can. I thought the, the centipedes themselves were the trams. 
It's like, I, I guess that's one way to think of them, since you can, like, hop on their heads over and over. Alright, let's get out of here. Once again, I found pretty much everything in here except for the map guy. Ah. I want to ride the Wiener Mobile. Ow! My foot. Apparently a bunch of Geo just appeared out of nowhere. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Mm-hmm! Secret area. Oh-ho-ho! -ho, secret area! Oh-ho-ho! -ho. Little Wormy McSquirmy. someone you don't see every day. Wait, come back! Let's be friends! We have so much in common! looks familiar, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Come back here! I want to be friends! This is definitely not a trap. That's slightly disconcerting. Hi! Oh, you're not who I thought you were. Hey! Who's that? Hi, Nosk. I think we're gonna be great friends. Alright, let's see if we can learn his pattern. Alright, that seems to be a bit of a safe area. Alright, you're going to be a pest. Oh, I don't like this. Let's see if this strategy just works. What if can we literally just run from here to here? <laughs> this might be the cheese delicious strategy. Okay, not quite. But it works surprisingly well. Oh, you would. Uh oh. Wow, that was rude. That seemed to work for a good long time, though. Now I gotta remember where that was. <laughs> Spider friend. Well, look, there was no way I was gonna beat a brand new boss for the first try. Especially at this point in the game. Uh, 
I hope he gives me the map as the reward. Cause this is like the this is like the largest, most complex of all of the worlds by far, and it's just not giving me the map. Very annoying. Just dodge. Yeah, dropping dropping orange soda on my head is not very nice. Oh, I didn't think we were starting the boss fight this soon. We got pretty lucky there. Seems to work very well for a lot of the fight. He's a fast boy. There is not a whole lot of room to stay against the wall here. Very campy strategy, but it's whatever works. That is annoying when that happens, where it's just like, oh, the orange stuff falls right on your head. Ouch. Dog on you and your stupid orange soda. How dare you. I hope this guy doesn't have as much health as the lost Ken. This is gonna be a long fight if he if it is. Yeah, I still definitely do not know the best way of dealing with the, the dropping orange stuff. Yeah, like, if that happens, you're just kind of screwed. Okay, double jump over him also works. That is really annoying how like sometimes he just hits you because he gets so close. I also hate how unpredict I hate how unpredictable the orange drops falling are. I don't think we need 
gathering swarm anymore. Wayward Compass also ain't doing anything for me. Hmm. Let's see. The hatchlings could be useful, but they only last for a certain amount of time. No recoil, nah. Huh? Summons Weaverlings to give the Lonely Bearer some companionship and protection. Hmm. Interesting. Gain soul when taking damage. I'm gonna try that one. I don't know what that means. Causes the bearer to emit a heroic odor. Yeah, we'll try that one as well. Alright, alright. I'm trying out some new spells today. Should be interesting. Hint makes you smell. Yeah, but like, does that have any practical effect? Or is it like the Attack FX badges from uh, <laughs> Paper Mario? The gun, I always fall in... I always hit that guy. This seems like it's going to be a very lengthy boss fight, because it doesn't seem like there's a lot of times where you can safely chip away at his HP. Yeah, I have no idea what to do when that starts dropping from the ceiling. That stuff follows you, and it always ends up, like, trapping you in a corner. Tuck on you. Oh, he's doing this again. Wonderful. I think I seem to have the pattern down, more or less. Alright, good night, go out of war. Ouch.
Okay, I don't think the charge hits are even worth it. Doesn't seem like they even do that much extra damage. Really? Again with the ceiling, Fanta? Okay, yeah, this is this is a long fight, but it's actually not that much of a difficult one. Bye. <laughs> oh man. Do I get an extra mask for that? No. Also, it's kind of disturbing that you got all of these hanging corpses in the back. What do we get here? Pale ore! Oh, well, I think that means I can upgrade my nail again. I think that's exactly what I needed to upgrade my nail. The upward yell spell deals a lot of damage. That or the boss doesn't have as much HP as I thought. Welcome back, DX. We beat Fake Hollow Knight. Even though I actually don't think... No, but nobody correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think our main character is Hollow Knight. I think Hollow Knight is something that was like in the lore. Yeah, well... You never know, maybe he'll become a common enemy later on. Alright, now we go up. Actually, no, before we go up, let's go back to that bench, because we're right here. equip these two. I really like the glowing womb. Not so much for boss fights, because eventually the guys just stop respawning. But against the common enemies? Like, oof, they're so good. Hi. I did not invite you to my birthday party. So thank you, little boys. Aren't they just the best? They're so good. As long as you have Soul Gauge to keep spawning them. 
Oh, spawning them takes soul. Oh, that guy needs help. I was doing damage to part of the ceiling. I was. Ouch. Okay, I see the downside of the Swarm King pin now. Yeah, it's consuming my, my will. Dude, I'm trying to find a way to get to you, okay? Am I seriously not doing any damage there? I was making chips into it. I was making chips into part of the wall. And now all of a sudden it's like, no. He's tied up. I want to help him out. But honestly, I'm not seeing any way to get to him. Maybe I can go around somewhere. Bench up here, eh? We'll see about that. Hey! This whole area swarms with deadly critters, biting, burning, scratching types. Yeah! No bed sheet, Sherlock! I fought to test my strength against them. Now that bravado has left me, and now I feel as tired and sore. Like, was is this the area you're supposed to go to, like, at the beginning of going to the swarm? Speaking of swarm... Sorry, swarm bros, but, uh, no thanks. I want to see what this is all about. Hey, little pill but or little spider friends. Spider friend, spider friend. Such bad luck. The critters about here are just terrifying. Those scuttling legs, those gnashing teeth. Tis not the end I'd ever want to meet. The failed tramway. Am I actually going to get to use the tram? All my little guys are doing... <laughs> oh, this is adorable. Spider friend, spider friend. Does whatever a spider friend does. Still feel bad about oh, movie theater seats. That did something 
Interesting. Spiders get a bad rap. They're just they're just chill. I mean the venomous ones you gotta watch out for. Full circle. Ooh, a butterfly. Oh hey, it's this thing. It did nothing. Oh man, these guys are way better. These guys are way better than the little, like, the flying guys that hatch. They don't take any of your soul. And they're, like, pretty much just as adept at, fi at fighting. Look at that. Like, what troopers? And the spiders that we have, at least around where I live, like, they're very chill. And they literally are just kind of here to, uh... Ooh. Tram pass! There we go! Spiders just kind of eat the other peskier bugs. Just they're kind of hanging out. They don't bother you if you don't bother them. Of all the roommates that I've had in my life, the spiders have been the most chill. Yeah, Spider Friend is great. I love Spider Friend. <laughs> spider Friend, Spider Friend. We are going to Legoland. Ooh, airplanes flying right overhead. I may live very close to an airport, so... I see this happen a lot. Okay, so I came from that way. Let's go down. Maybe we can save our friend if we go down this way. Oh my gosh, they tried to throw me in a bottomless pit again. Or in a spike pit again. That ain't right, I tell you. Did that guy just come back to life? Sure looks like it. Ow! Come on! If it's like a psychological thing about spiders, I, I totally get it. They, they definitely move in a little... in a very strange way. It's like how some people really like snakes, and other people are like, Snakes? Nope, nope, cannot deal with, cannot deal with snakes. That's not nice. It's just a prank, bro. Oh... I never got to make a Lemmings level called It's Just a Prank Bro. I was planning on doing it, but I never did. I also don't know how that level would have gone. <laughs> Ouch! Why are they putting me so far back? Why are they putting me so far back? Would it have been a troll level? I don't like making troll levels, but... I mean, honestly, maybe. That it would have just been like a burning house. You set my house on fire? It's just a prank, bro. Get over it. Okay, the little wall crawlers here are, like, an uncannily good aim. Huh. 
<laughs> Where's Marshmallow, friend? I don't know. Oh, interesting. I used to, when I was a young child, I had kind of a phobia of dogs as well. But it's more just to do with the fact where I'm like, I'm not really comfortable around animals that could eat me if they wanted to. So, like, the small dogs are one thing, but, like... Oh, hey, bro. Like, my sister-in-law's family had a Newfoundland for a while. I'm like, he was a sweet dog. He was adorable. But also, I'm like, that guy's basically a bear. Like, if he wanted to, he could easily eat us. I just don't feel comfortable around that. Okay, I don't like where this is going. I knew I didn't like where this is going. Oh, hey, it's like Death Man from Rock Force. So far, so good. Oh, is now there a second weapon around? Alright, this is fun. That was that was honestly pretty easy. That definitely reminded me of Death Man from Mega Man Rock Force, though. Hey, bro. Unbelievable. I am defeated at last. So this is what it feels like to be bested. Still, though, I am strong, am I not? When you see our king, surely you'll tell him of my valor. Yes, he sent me you here to test me, didn't he? I knew he had not forgotten brave Galeon. I didn't talk to him before actually fighting him. I am ready to join you now. Brothers, you and I, let us leave this place together. Ah, uh, whoops. <laughs> yeah, I guess I didn't realize I could talk to him. I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's a spirit. Gotta take him. So I'm assuming that uh, he worked for the king. And was like, haha, I am so great. I have my scythe. I'm the best warrior around. And then you beat him, and he's like, what? All of that just for. Really? I kind of expected a charm out of that. Nintendo Addict, I hope that your dog is a wiener dog, because that would make the pun even better. Ouch. My butt. I want to save Marshmallow, friend! But I don't see any way to. It's okay, I have new friends. Oh, that's okay. I feel like pretty much every... Every person has, like, one animal that they just adore. And one animal that they're just like, Oh, no, can't deal with that. So, like, for me... Ducks are the best animal, like, by far. I adore them. And then, like, for me, the animal where I'm just like, nope, can't deal with it, are fish. Fish kind of freak me out. Wait, I've been here before, haven't I? Is this where the tram station is? Yeah, okay, I, I know where I am. Alright. Well, we can at least try to use our tram pass. I- oh, hey! Uh, hey, Mr. Bro! It's Quirrell! 
from Harry Potter. Hello, hello, what a thrill this is to find such a warm comfort amidst the den of beasts. This is a ferocious place, no doubt. Supposedly, there's a village deep in the warren. Its inhabitants never accepted Hollownest's keen. This one, too, must seek the village at the nest's heart. What a mystery the purpose it sees to its share in my path. Alright, come with me, my little bu spider friends. We're gonna take the tram. Because we gotta pass... Because I've got a golden ticket! No, it's my golden ticket. You can't have it. I've got a golden ticket. We're leaving Marshmallow Friend behind. Sorry, but I don't know how to save him. A door. Insert the tram pass. Yes, please. Little spider friends. Push the going button. Uh, first, I want to sit down. Ah. Have fun, guys. Don't wreck everything. Yes, yeah, so let's, let's press the button. Initiating self-destruct. No! <laughs> oh, I'm here in the ancient basin. Cool. I don't know where in the ancient basin, because guess what? I unequipped the compass again. I think I'm right at the start. Ah, yes, here I am. Okay. I know where I am now. Right at the top. Alright. Find a bench. Even jerkwads don't deserve to be kidnapped, though. Ouch. Spider friends, I could use your help. Never mind, I got it. I thought that I could just take the tram to and from those two areas. I bet I can unlock more tram stations, though. Got the subway and the tram. It's a little late in the game to be unlocking the tram, though, for the first time. I only have one seal left to break. Oh, wait! I can go... Ooh! Oh, hi! Cloth! My friend, you dealt with all those beasts! I'm ashamed to say, I was hiding. Those ghastly fiends chased me and I ran. If you hadn't come along, who knows if I'd have ever survived. Others take me for a fearsome warrior, but of my impressive size, but with this kingdom's beasts, I wonder if I'm just no match for them. Enough! I cannot wallow in my weakness! I must take strength from your example! You act so confident in battle. You show no fear towards your foes. I'll try my best to do the same. Such luck! This tiny one appears to at just the right moment, and what masterful skill it shows! As a warrior, it sets a powerful precedent, and I'd do well to learn from its form. I also have enough, um, essence to get the next upgrade. And I need to upgrade my nail. Okay, um, what's the nearest train station? There's no tram stations anywhere around. This is... I, do I hear a wormy make squirmy? I do hear a wormy make squirmy. Spider friends! Yeah, I gotta find a tram station. Stat. Or not tram, subway. <laughs> Grubbies! 
Well, I guess I could go. Oh, no, I don't want to fall down here. I want to go back to the subway. Or the, the tram. Okay, so... Oh, I see what you mean. Because there's one on this side and there's one on the other side. So will this take me back to... Th I think this will probably take me back to Deep Nest. But I could keep going and maybe... Okay, yeah, so this is back in Deep Nest. Alright. Yeah, I want. I at least want to go to the resting grounds, get the next essence upgrade, and if at all possible, I'd like to upgrade my nail as well. But the upgrading the nail might have to wait till next stream. I am amazed that the game is a, this game is as big as it is, and by that I mean like how enormous the world map is. Don't have a map for this area either. Great. <laughs> My cats liked chasing the laser pointer as well. I don't recognize this area. I definitely don't recognize this area. We found the bees. <laughs> oh, bother! <gasps> Spider friends are just jumping on these giant guys like, Hey, we're helping! I can tell right away this is going to be my sister's least favorite area here. Yeah, this is a completely new area. I, I appreciate bees, I just wish bees were a little less stain happy. Actually, no, I'm thinking of wasps. Wasps are the ones where it's just like, oh yeah, are you like of mile within my nest stain. Kingdom's Edge. Cool. How about a bench? Ooh, love the music. Oh wow, you guys have a lot of HP. Oh, it's snowing! Not I was not expecting snow in an area filled with bees. Oh, this is gorgeous music. I adore it. Very medieval sounding. Ho 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 ho! Nicely done, spider friends. Very proud of you. Now, can we find a bench? I bet there was a bench, like, really close to the trams. Oh, wait! I guess I can just sit down inside the tram. Yeah, I probably should have just sat down inside the tram, but I, I wanted to see where this was. I thought this would take me to a place I'd already been. Not a brand new area. Oh, look, another barricade. I 
I always neglect the soul attacks, because I'm like, I gotta save my soul for healing. It's just like in real life. That was neat. <laughs> oh, another Wanderer's Journal. Yeah, because I need more money. Definitely. Surely there must be a bench some. Surely there must be a Turbo Man doll around here somewhere. What does it mean when it said Grub Fiend? Ow! My bottom. Does that mean... Oh. Maybe that means I got a new pin? Maybe? No, you dipwad! The game appreciated. Oh, achievement for saving half the grubs! Half? There are still twice. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, at least we found a bench. Next time on Hollow Knight, we'll be recovering our lost cash. <laughs> With spider friends. I hope I can remember where I went. Otherwise, I might be in trouble. Actually, wait. If, even if we don't have a map. If we don't have a map, will it uh, actually... No, it won't. What if we look at the world map? Oh, wow. Okay, we're way over to the to the east. I mean, if we, if we equip the compass to see where we are, we'll be able to do that. Yeah, we can, we'll save Marshmallow Friend if possible, but I didn't see any way to do that. I think he's just going to be stuck there, so... Yeah, this was fun, did a lot, and it looks like, wow, are we... There's no way we're only halfway through the game. Like, I bet I just missed a bunch of grubs. I can't imagine the game being that much bigger, because I have only one seal let, so... Eh. Well, we'll just have to wait and see, but we'll be doing that on Wednesday, two days from now. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you all for joining in. It was a pleasure talking to you all. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless.